So let me show you how to make this crane. This is my first ever tutorial, so we'll see how this goes. I found the original design of the crane from an image on Pinterest, but I tweaked it to make it work with Create. And let me show you how to build it. Lay yourself down a 3x3 foundation, and just off from the side, five high of logs. I've used dark coat logs, but you could use oak or acacia, or any logs, any logs you like. And then take your logs and wrap them around the foundation. At the top of the logs, you want a ring of more stone. And leave the hole in the center. And then repeat that for a double thick ring of stone. And that's the foundation. That's the base structure of the crane. Now, whatever logs you chose, you need a contrasting accent block. With dark oak, I think spruce works perfectly. So grab the stairs of that block and wrap them around the stone ring, topping off the logs. Now, I'm not a fan of symmetry, so I would randomize the heights of some of the logs. But if you like symmetry, leave it as is. But for me, I think it adds more character, being uneven. Now on the side that will end up being the back of the crane, turn the stairs sideways and place one underneath, because later on this will hold a water wheel. Now, on the top, add a log and a wood and a log and a wood, a log and a wood and a log and a wood, <laughs> and stone in the corners. As I build, I like to vary the textures instead of going back and doing it after the fact, so just randomize it a little, a little bit. Whatever stone choice you're using, hopefully it has some variations within the, the block palette that you've chosen. So now in here is where we'll power the crane. You, you can hook up any create power source, but I, I've just chosen to use a water wheel because it's simple and it's easy. So take your stairs and place them upside down and do that all around. And then in here, in the center, lying on its side, we'll place the water wheel. And take note of which direction the slats are facing on the water wheel, because that will determine the flow. Take a trapdoor and block off one center block and then place down the water. If it goes with the slats, it will go run at full speed. But if you want the crane to go a half speed, maybe add a little bit more realism make the water wheel work in reverse and it'll go slower but for this we'll just we'll run it full speed and that seems to be fine for me now we'll control the up and down motion of the crane with a gear shift so place place that if you can in the center above the water wheel this is how we'll control the mechanism and now these this is purely decorative but I like to add a small cog and a large cog because you can see them from the outside and it just looks like you've got some mechanism working away in there. And then from the top, bring the shaft up so it's poking out the top. And for now, we're just going to control the mechanism with a simple lever. You, you could hook this up to wireless redstone if you've reached that stage of the create mod, but yeah. This will change the direction the shaft spins. I just cover that up with a trapdoor and a fence and repeat that design all the way around. Now I also add fences at the bottom just to add the impression of structure, make it look more stable. And with fences, especially spruce fences, I tend to vary it up out of jungle fence every now and again, just to vary the textures. Add a slab and a trap door and do that all the way around and then fences on top of these stone blocks at the top now we're going to add another water wheel on the side purely for decoration so add two grindstones and the water wheel and then cap off the little cup that will hold the water with the trap door now to get the water wheel spinning take out these logs and just pop some water there and put the log on top to hide it. 
And that's purely for decoration. That does nothing, but it looks cool. And that's important. <laughs> now on the shaft, add an andesite casing on either end and wrap the center with trapdoors, just for effect. Do that all the way around. And then add stone walls of varying texture underneath and top it off with a vertical gearbox, a shaft, and another vertical gearbox. Although this one needs to face the other way, in the direction of the crane. Now wrap the exposed shaft in logs all the way around. And then on the side that is opposite to the water wheel, so what will end up being the front of the crane, add a, a wood of the same log variety. Now we'll work on the arm of the crane, so you want a stairs into each other, two stairs into each other like this, a log and a wood, slab, slab, slab underneath this stair, and a trapdoor underneath that stair. Now just for decoration's sake, I put jungle trapdoors, one up, one down, on the arm. And now on the back of the crane, we want a stair with two slabs underneath, and then two, two wood blocks and a stone wall. And then under this, this will become the counterweight. So you want a variety of blocks and, and a wall just to create this counterweight shape and then wrap it around that wood with trapdoors. Place one more next to that stair and then cap off the bottom so that it looks like the counterweight is being held. But in order to make it not look as though it's floating, add a slab, trapdoor, slab, and then a piece of chain and a grindstone. And now it looks a lot more structurally sound. It's being held there. And that's, that's it. That's kind of the shape of the crane done. Now, to get the mechanism working, extend the shaft all the way along to the edge of the crane. Put andesite casings on the first and last pieces. Add the all-important rope pulley to the end. And it's already going down. And then add a grindstone just for effects, just for decoration's sake. And to turn off the rope pulley, just flick the switch and it'll go back up. Just like that. And there you go. That is a working crane. Now just to add a little bit more movement, Add a large cog on either side of that vertical gearbox and attach it from the underside with metal brackets. Like that. And it just gives it more movement, more life. It looks mechanical, it looks like it's doing something. Now, the basket. This should be the only piece that is problematic at all. Start building down a little bit lower, just so you've got a little bit more space and add a slab to the underside of a block. Place fence gates on either side opened and coming out of these add fences going downwards. So you end up with what looks a bit like a crawler, a little a bit of a spider. And this is the cage of the basket. And just cap off the bottom with slabs. Now, this is done, but for me it's too clean, it's too 2012 Minecraft, so I would have to mix up a few of these for trapdoors just to add some variation, make it look a bit more beaten up and used. Because it would be, it's, if it's a, a crane used in any industrial setting. But yeah, that's, that's good, that's it, that's the basket. Now, you, you could have a, a different attachment to the crane, a claw or a, an elevator platform. But this one's just going to be an ore basket. Now, you need to cover everything in super glue. Everywhere. And you'll probably still miss some. I've probably missed some. It's this whole little basket needs to be glued together. Don't forget the undersides. Let's give it a go. I'm sure I've missed something. Well, let's grabbed it. Let's see if it will... No. 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 Okay. I'll see what I've missed. Okay, well, that was most of it. 
but I've still missed some. So, last attempt. Send it back up. Grab these last little bits. Glue it all together. Okay, let's try now. There we go. There we go, guys. The working crane, lifting the basket, lowering the basket, is such a cool design. And I'm definitely going to place these all around our world in our Let's Play. And let's, let's stop this. And then, or it'll lower all the way to the void. But yeah, that's the crane. And that's the tutorial. I built a pretend piece of land, and we'll lower it one last time. And watch it descend with the goods. I hope that was helpful, guys. I hope that was not too painful and easy to follow. Let me know if you'd like more tutorials of, of some of the smaller builds that we create in our Let's Play. And I'll do my best. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time, guys. Take care. <laughs>